Think about a secondary that already has a Kyle Hamilton, has a Marlon Humphrey, has a Brandon Stevens, has a Nate Wiggins, TJ Tampa, Arthur Millette, Ardarius Washington. The list goes on. And think about a secondary that already includes all of those guys. And they just added Eddie Jackson too. a word that comes to mind and that we always talk about on here. Versatility. But to think on top of the versatility that they already had. They just added that much more to it today with their latest signing. Team, keep it clean. We about to get into it. Before we do, make sure you leave a like on the video. Click the thumbs up button. It takes less than half a second. And then subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you don't miss a single thing. Daryl Worley. Daryl Worley is somebody who came to the Baltimore Ravens a couple of seasons ago. And when he first started playing for the Ravens, I was like, oh, I wasn't too sure about him. But as time went on, his opportunity increased. Daryl Worley, he showed that he can play. Probably our favorite game from Daryl Worley was a couple of years ago. It was week, the, I think it was week 17 or week 18 against the Cincinnati Bengals. That man came to play. That boy was hitting everything in sight. Uh, and he was knocking them Bengals receivers out like crazy. That's when we were like, okay, Worley, we see you, baby. Uh, but Daryl Worley is somebody that used to be a cornerback but more recently he transitioned to playing safety he can still go back to cornerback now but he can do both we talked about how these Baltimore Ravens are extremely versatile already in the secondary really the defense as a whole are in the secondary so he just adds that much more versatility to the mix and like we talked about too the more you can do the more you can disguise defenses and, and just mess up offenses' minds when they come out on the field and think you're doing one thing, but you could be doing three different things. Actually, more than that. But adding Daryl Worley is a nice signing for the Baltimore Ravens. They said that earlier today uh, when practice was getting ready to start that they said Daryl Worley was on the field in a Ravens jersey, but we hadn't heard no announcements or anything like that, but the Ravens made it official a couple of minutes after that. But anyway, let's read the article from BaltimoreRavens.com on Daryl Worley. It says, the Ravens have reunited with a familiar face, bringing back veteran defensive back Daryl Worley at the start of training camp. It's the second safety the Ravens have signed in the past two days as they also inked Eddie Jackson on Sunday. Worley, however, likely projects more as a special teams contributor. See, versatility. The versatility that I was talking about with Worley was him being able to play both safety and cornerback. But Ryan Mink, he, he brought out a really good point that not only can he play cornerback and safety, but he'll be big on special teams as well. I wasn't even thinking about that. So again, the more you can do. Let's continue to get back to the article. It says, Worley, who was only 29 years old, played for the Ravens the past two-plus seasons. He suited up for 12 games last year and made 12 tackles. Worley transitioned from playing cornerback to safety last season, but he's still versatile enough to line up in multiple spots in Baltimore's defense and on special teams. With the new kickoff rules in place, teams are generally looking for bigger linebacker-type players who can be physical in coverage and blocking. Worley fits the bill as a 6'1", 210-pound player with considerable experience. Ravens have a lot of depth in their secondary. Oh, and I like how he put this list out, too. He said, and safety with Marcus Williams and Kyle Hamilton as the starters, followed by Jackson, or Darius Washington, and rookie Sanusi. Oh, my goodness. I'm tripping because I forgot about them. Whenever we talk about the secondary, and that's on me, my apologies, I don't even be mentioning Bo Braid or Sanusi Kane. Sanusi Kane was a draft pick from the Ravens, uh, and Bo Braid was an undrafted rookie free agent that they signed at the safety position out of Maryland. So Ravens got a bunch of safeties, right? Like, we went into this offseason like, oof. Safety looking kind of slim right now because Geno Stone, he was on the way out. Or Darius Washington, he came back on the tail end of the season after missing a chunk after having surgery. Uh, but then we would think, okay, who's it going to be? Who's going to be our depth guys? Who's going to be that third safety? And the Baltimore Ravens were like, no, just chill out. We got it. We're going to take care of business. And they certainly have taken care of business in a major way. So now we went from being very thin at safety to being, I don't want to say thick at safety, but you get what I'm saying. So Ravens are set up real, real nice. At, at safety and the secondary as a whole, they're in a real good position because they have a plethora of guys that can come in and play, that can come in and start, that can come in and be depth guys, that can come in and be special teams players and they have they can pick they can pick and choose which ones they want and as long as everybody's healthy the Ravens have some tough decisions to make they have some really really tough decisions to make who's going to make the active roster how many safeties are you going to keep who's going to be on a practice squad and who unfortunately are you going to have to let go I'm glad I'm not in a position to have to make those decisions that's all on Eric DeCasa but something that I am in a position to do is put you on to our sponsor for today's video 
I know we all looking for the best deals on tickets so we can go see our Baltimore Ravens play in person or just go to an NFL game in general. But where do we look? Who got the best deals? And where can we find them? Well, we got the answer to that question for you. Today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events on SeatGeek. So if you're looking to go to a football game, you want to go see your favorite NBA team play, you want to go to a concert, literally whatever, SeatGeek got it for you. Now y'all know me, I'm trying to hit up some Ravens games. And that's whether we got to make the trip to M&T Bank Stadium or something a little closer for when the Ravens come down to Florida. Either way, SeatGeek makes it easy. The way that they do things is just so simple. It makes for a lot smoother process for you. They put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. And each ticket is rated on a scale from one to 10. So look out for those green dots. Green means good, red means bad. And every single ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only ticket site that lets you actually return the tickets before the event using swaps. Now, since I know y'all want to go to these games and festivals, events, concerts, whatever it may be, you know I came through for you guys. Use my code ENGRAVEN to get $20 off of tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code ENGRAVEN. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. And again, that's promo code ENGRAVEN for $20 off your first purchase from SeatGeek. Enjoy your event. Now we talked about the secondary making plays, but what about making plays against the secondary? Ladies and gentlemen, enter our guy, Rashad. Bateman. Rashad Bateman expected to have an increased role this year. And like we said in yesterday's video, he's been saying all the right things this offseason, especially since getting his contract extension with the Baltimore Ravens. But talking is one thing. Action is another. Today, he was showing that action because he had two really, really nice catches in traffic with guys draped all over him in the heavy, ugly, pouring rain. So shout out to Rashad Bateman he getting off to a nice start this training camp, and we hope that it continues. But John Harbaugh, who John Harbaugh just he, he been on a world tour with backing his guys over the past two days. I wonder who he's gonna talk highly about tomorrow. But he's off to a good start. Yesterday it was Lamar Jackson saying that Lamar Jackson he wants Lamar Jackson to be the best quarterback that the NFL has ever seen. But today. He has some strong praise for Rashad Bateman. Let's listen to what he had to say. He said, Rashad's been working to make plays. To see him come out and make those catches, those are great catches, traffic catches. One catch he plucked off the ground there. I was excited. Everybody was fired up about it. That's what we expect from Rashad Bateman. He's expected to be a top receiver in the league for us. That's what we're planning on. So John Harbaugh giving a nice boost of confidence to that boy Bay, and I feel like this entire offseason has been boost of confidence for Rashad Bateman reason I say that is because the way that the Ravens have approached this offseason at the wide receiver position and what they've done specifically with Rashad Bateman first they let Odell Beckham Jr. go they reworked his contract let him go all right cool uh then we went to the draft they didn't draft the receiver early they did draft the receiver in Taylor Walker but that one wasn't until the fourth round so Rashad Bateman was like okay cool I'm safe all right straight free agency Came and went, and they, they brought back Nelson Aguilar, but they didn't make any significant outside additions at the position at, at wide receiver. And it's like, Bate could be like, okay, cool. Okay, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And then they signed Rashad Bateman to that contract extension. So they've let Rashad Bateman know in so many different ways, like, hey, it's your time, my friend. And with John Harbaugh being the latest boost of confidence for Bate, we hope that everything can come together. Because, again, this is the offseason. This is where it starts. But it's important that once regular season gets here, they keep it going. Now, we got a question from my guy Oreo Cookie about the tight ends. And he said, hey, Engraven, hope you're doing well. I'm about to hit 160 pounds loss. My guy, you are killing it, man. Keep doing your thing. He said, anyway, here's my question. Do you think that they would let Mark Andrews' contract expire in exchange for signing Likely? Or do they let Likely go or do they find a way to keep both? Ooh, that's a fun question. Funny timing is everything. I was literally... Just talking to my guy, Jonathan, about this exact scenario earlier today on Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely. Both of their contracts are over after 2025. Uh, both of their contracts expire then. And based off of I, I, obviously, we don't know what's going to happen this season. So much depends on so much. But um, based off of money, based off of age, whoo. <laughs> It'll be tough. It's a tough business, man. And this business, it can break a lot of hearts. And uh, uh, y'all know me. I want to keep everybody. I, I want to keep everybody, especially if they're really good players with the Baltimore Ravens. I want everybody to stay. I don't want nobody to go. I want everybody to come through and everybody to stay put. But we know in this business, it just simply cannot happen. 
So in that case, I do think this is just me. I'll I do think that they would keep Isaiah likely over Mark Andrews in that case. It would be tough. It would be very, very tough. But I, I think that's the decision that they would go with.